Stay tuned because Good Sports is coming next. Good Sports was recorded on Wednesday, June 28th. Welcome to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness Show. I am Steve Fisher. I'm the publisher of Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine. Today we're here at Core Strategies Physical Therapy, Sports Performance, and Medical Fitness. The physical therapists at Core don't just treat symptoms, they treat the whole person. Treatment plans are customized specifically for each patient and their unique needs. At Core, they educate you about your issue, create and implement a program to help you, and empower you to prevent future occurrences. Core Strategies Physical Therapy is located at 10400 West 103rd Street, just on the east side of 69 Highway. For more information or to set up an appointment, and no doctor referral is needed to set up an appointment, call CORE at 913-322-4000 or visit their website, coreptkc.com. Now, before we get started with the show, I want to tell everyone that our current issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness can be picked up at over 700 locations in KC, and it's absolutely free. Also, this month, KC Sports continues to celebrate our 20th year as the Sports Illustrated of Kansas City. Now, in our hockey report presented by the Kansas City Ice Center, we share the news that the KC Ice Center and the Kansas City Youth Hockey Association will begin girls-only hockey leagues this fall. And in Chloe's Corner, the Wren Insurance Tennis Report, we feature an interview with youth tennis player Brooklyn Olson. And now joining us from Core Strategies Physical Therapy, Sports Performance, and Medical Fitness is Daniil Debrecht. She is a physical therapist here, and along with Jennifer Westerberg, she is one of the owners of Core Strategies, which is located just east of 69 Highway on 103rd Street. Daniil, thank you for joining us today. Yeah, thank you. Really appreciate you having us out here. Give us a quick rundown about Core and who you treat and the services that you provide. Right. So we're a physical therapy company, but we also do injury prevention and sports performance training as well. So we pretty much help anybody who wants to move better (laughs) at any stage of life. So my clients today have ranged from a five-year-old little boy all the way up to an 86-year-old female. So everything in between. So my client right before here was a volleyball player. So kind of it it uh, ranges the whole gamut yeah i was so. wondering what kind of an athlete she was she, she she had the moves down yeah <laughs> you could tell she was just, what was she working on was she just working on strengthening just, yep yep strengthening had an ankle injury recently so okay. yep just getting back okay so so one of the things about core is and i mentioned this in the intro is you do not need a doctor referral no. so that's something where yeah. people can just contact you yep. and and talk to you about the issue that they're dealing with. Yeah, exactly. They can just call us and get some information, let us know what they're going through, and we can let them know for the appropriate place for them to start. Um, Once we get going and we do our evaluation, if we're seeing any other problems, we'll call our physician peers and get somebody else on board or help them collaborate if they need more advanced care. But most things we can address or or get them pointed in the right direction at least. Well, you guys write an article in each month's issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness. And in our June issue, when we're taping this show, it's at the end of June as we're taping this, you write about one of those those things that you can help people with, and that is something called golfer's elbow. Yeah. And, and, you know, in the article you say that the golf swing requires movement of the full body, of course, as, as we all know. And uh, everything, but everything has to be coordinated in order to do that right. well. So a common injury happens somewhere in, yeah. in here. What, what exactly is golfer's elbow and how does it, how does it happen? Yeah, so acutely golfer's elbow is a simply an infl- inflammation at the tendons of the elbow, the insert on the inside edge of the elbow. And it's due to repetitive stress and strain. Now, oftentimes there's some sort of an imbalance in, in the body, sometimes in the shoulder and the trunk, that leads to these overuse patterns. Um, now, once a problem's been chronic, or been, been going on long enough, it can turn into a chronic condition, mm-hmm. which is more degeneration of the tissue, more so than an active inflammation process. So the take home message is really the sooner you catch things, the easier they are yeah. to treat. Don't wait till it becomes a chronic, chronic problem to deal with. Well, in the article, you say that acute equals repetitive and inflammation. Chronic is more wear and tear. There's yeah, so, over time. so exactly. That inflammation process has been going on long enough that tissues are breaking down and changing. And it's a little longer process to, to recover from right. once something's become chronic. Do, do those things feel uh, different? Is the pain the uh, same? Is they, the pain, I they, mean, you know, yeah, pain they, is pain. Exa- <laughs> well, they can change in quality some, but for the most part, um, it can just become very chronic and very nagging and not it, not changing. Um, sometimes people still feel like it's inflamed or swollen, but it, it's no longer in that stage. It's moved on to a little bit more. Right. Of a so can chronic, can, can chronic kind of come on, even though it's it's 
deteriorating gradually, can it kind of come on acutely? Um, is the, or is it one of those things where it's nagging and yeah, it's just kind of Yeah, it's a bit more progression. Now, sometimes people will have episodic pain that they haven't right. dealt with and they thought it went away and this is a whole new injury. And really, it's, it's the tissue progressing um, you know, into more degeneration. So we kind of, we kind of help people sort through that and see where they're at and then what, what treatment. So golfer's elbow, that's the name that we give it for a golfer, but it is something yeah. that can affect yeah. athletes at, in different sports. And, and in your article, you say it can even affect you if you're working on the computer. Yeah. So really any type of repetitive forearm or upper extremity motions, any sports that have a gripping motion, like racket sports, okay. anything like that, people can, you're using those muscles on the, that attach there to the inside edge of the, of the elbow and it can, it can flare up. So how do you treat golfer's elbow with physical therapy? Yeah. What are what are the solution? What's the process? Right. Well, we're going to kind of investigate what stage are you in, and then um, based on that, there's lots of different um, treatment techniques that we can do to calm down the inflammation process if it's in that stage. Um, more importantly, it's about finding out what led to this. Was there an imbalance in muscles on one side of the forearm versus the other, right. or the shoulder, or what's your body mechanics through the trunk as you're doing the activities that, that led to that? So. Again, if it's if it's a golfer, I'm going to look at some of their mechanics as they go to, through different aspects of their swing and see where's the weak link that's causing something else to be overloaded. Right. And equipment is something. Golf equipment is something that you also need to look at as well. Absolutely. With How's any that, sport, yeah. you know, your 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 technique, your sport technique, as well as your equipment can make a difference. Um, you know, and we work here in town with various golf pros that can really help with some of those equipment related issues hmm. or or getting people over. Um, you know, sometimes it is, there are technique issues that can predispose people to these, these types of inflammatory conditions. So, um, we just work with all those peers in the community to get, to get the whole address from all angles. Gotcha, pretty much. Yeah. Gotcha. So you guys have a golf specific program that you offer as well here, yeah. um, that, can improve your game yeah. as well as deal with these types of issues. Tell us about that. Yeah. So basically what we're going to do is a, a movement screen that kind of finds okay. where are your weak links. And that can be weak links of tissues that are susceptible to injury, but it may also be just areas where you're at risk for a performance deficit. So we're going to identify all those mm -hmm. and then put together a customized plan to address those. Um, we have options and sometimes people do a, a, a combination package where they might do some one-on-one -on -one training or some semi-private training all the way up to group sessions um, that kind of allow them to get the repetition that they need to improve improve those patterns. Um, and then, like I said, we do work with our, our coaches out in the community doing some sport integration where we're helping them integrate that into their sport with, with technique and right. equipment-based issues and, and helping them uh, kind of overcome some of those performance barriers that, that happen. Sure. And uh, if somebody's watching this show and they're interested in that, you have an 18% off offer that you're yeah. offering through Kansas City yeah. Sports and Fitness, then they can just call you and, yeah. and sign up for that. Uh, how can they reach you guys? To they can just give us a call at the clinic, which is 913-322-4000. And the ladies up front will be able to get them, get them scheduled and, and we'll go from there. Ask for Daniil. Um, yeah. So not only do you have a golf performance program, but you also have other pro performance programs for other sports. Absolutely. What are those? Absolutely. Well, you know, um, golf and running are two mm -hmm. top, you know, group um, specific programs. Um, we also have worked with tennis players and volleyball players and that over the years. Um, so it's a, it's a matter of... Um, regardless of what sport you play, we, we can put you through right. the same program. We tailor it when we get to the technique aspects a little bit more, depending on the sport. But um, right now we do a lot with the track club. We've got the Hot Peat Track Club right. that we work with. And um, they're getting ready, gearing up for Junior Olympics, which will be the end of wow. next month. And uh, we had 38 kids medal last weekend at the qualifying meet. So We've, uh, we've got a good team this year. That's great. Yeah. You've been working with them for several years now. Yeah, it's now, been about five it? years. Oh, my. Yeah. yeah, and the club's really grown, and, you know, kids are doing well. And we're lucky this year um, Junior Olympics are right here in, in Lawrence, Kansas, the end of July, whereas last year they were in, in Virginia, and the year before that it was in Houston. Oh, so wow. it's nice to have it in our backyard right now. <laughs> so many people can participate in it oh, this yeah. year. They, they don't yeah. have to worry about making the trip exactly. and the hotel and things like exactly. that. Exactly. Well, that's wonderful. That's, that is just absolutely terrific. So... Um, uh, one of the other articles that is in uh, Kansas City Sports and Fitness, you can see this one online at kcsportspaper.com. It was in our May issue. 
uh, it kind of covers what we just kind of talked about, but yeah. it, it was titled Pain Changes How You Move. Yeah. Um, you know, and everybody has pain, uh, but it affects, you know, it affects you in a variety of different ways. It, it can cause a whole lot of things like sprains and strains and tears and inflammation, and I'm sure I've missed a hundred right. other things. Um, right. In the article, you indicate that athletes often think their pain is due to a weakness. Uh-huh. Um, or an inability to handle it, but they uh, and they may have tried strengthening exercises, but the pain still persists. What's going on? Right. Well, the way the way the brain works is pain affects some muscles more than others. Mm-hmm. So, um, as long as an athlete is mentally tough enough to put the pain aside, it doesn't necessarily, in the short run, change your ability to pr- produce strength or power, but it does change your precision of how you're coordinating movement. So okay. what happens is, is some muscles that should be working in the background that really help you absorb those forces aren't doing their fair share. And so the cycle can get pretty chronic of how you're repetitively loading or overloading tissues. Um, and compensation, that compensation is always an issue, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, compensation is normal. We do it yeah. in, in everyday <laughs> life. It's only when the compensation is not controlled that it becomes painful. So, you know, there's there's lots of different, different uh, compensations in life that, that are good in movement. If mm-hmm. you have a, a permanent injury that you can't, you can't fix, you got to learn to move around it. So compensation is not a bad thing. It's just when you're doing it, you don't know you're doing it, and your muscle system can't decelerate those forces, that it's likely to lead to a future problem. And, and one of the things that you mentioned in here is muscle, muscle imbalances, and it's, you say they impact us at rest, not only at, when we're active, yeah. uh, during non-active times. How is that? Right, because when those muscles that I was talking about that kind of um, do less in the presence of pain, they, they down-regulate mm-hmm. or they become inhibited, um, those are the muscles that we use to glue us glue ourselves together (laughs) when we're sitting at the computer or when we're driving in the car when we're working at our desk they're really a lot of the postural muscles and and sometimes they get they get a little bit inefficient at doing their job and so sometimes people may actually first notice they have a problem sitting at their desk and they don't even realize on the on the court that they're having problems until later on then it starts impacting impacting sport performance so sometimes the early markers are in everyday life you don't Mm. even realize it that that's really interesting yeah. so the aches and pains can come from from that and the stiffness and all that yeah. stuff once you get warmed up you may not know that y- yeah that exactly the, the i mean you know are. again uh, you know when we're playing sport we are using those power muscles that yeah. you know they're supposed to be doing that job and they're not as affected by pain once you get everything kind of moving and again you get into that <laughs> tough athlete mentality where yeah. you just kind of work through anything um so the you know the take-home message again is that people are having problems even even you know out of their chosen sport sitting in school or sitting at their desk or you know laying on the couch then those are issues to address because they can ultimately impact sport and the sooner we find them the easier they are to fix and the and the quicker it is so yeah, what's the plan nice. to remove the pain? Somebody comes comes to the door here. Yeah. They they've made an appointment. They don't need a doctor referral. I'll plug that exactly. Uh, here. Uh, what's the plan as they come in uh, yeah. to assist them so th- with that yeah. and to keep it away? Right. So the first the first appointment is a thorough evaluation where our our staff will kind of get a history, find out what's been going on, mm-hmm. go through some assessments to see where the deficits are, where those weak links are, and then and then recommend a plan. So if uh, somebody's having pain and there, we may recommend that they come in a couple times a week for a few weeks to to get that going and then taper off to a home management plan um you know it's a little bit different for ever, everyone we customize yeah, it to be yeah. what they need where they're at what other injuries they have or other other stuff they have going on so you know that's a bit variable but the the process of finding out what's at the root of the the problem what's the cause of the problem is really kind of our specialty right so yeah. dealing with the pain and then and then doing some sort of exercise program exactly to, to keep it from yep. coming exactly. back exactly and yeah. that's that's really the the most important thing right now in in our healthcare today is it's gotten more expensive you know we're all bearing yep. a bigger bigger yep. portion of the <laughs> the financial cost of that and so recurrence needs to be the hot topic for everybody. It's it's no longer acceptable to have the same episode of back pain every two years because it gets more costly and costly you know, as time goes on. So the more that people can kind of dig in and, and get it taken care of once and for all, the better you are long term, both health wise and then also from a financial perspective. Good point. Very good point. Yeah. So again, give us the information on how people can reach yeah. you. So they can just give us a call here at Core Strategies Physical Therapy. Our phone number is 913 913- 
322-4000. Okay. Um, and uh, we're going to talk more with Daniil, uh when we come back. But right now we're going to take a quick break. You're watching or listening to Good Sports, the KC Sports and Fitness Magazine show. We're coming to you from Core Strategies, Physical Therapy, Sports Performance, and Medical Fitness. They're located at 1040 West 103rd Street, just east of 69 Highway in Overland Park. I'm Steve Fish. We'll be right back. <laughs> Come on out to the Kansas City Ice Center and skate on the outdoor pavilion or the indoor ice rink. And sign up now for Learn to Skate and Learn to Play Hockey classes at the Kansas City Ice Center. The KC Ice Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. For more information on public skating times, to register for classes, or schedule an upcoming party or group event, visit kcicecenter.com or call 913-441-3033. That's 913-441-3033. These days, we're all so busy, and many of us ignore our health and let stress turn into chronic pain. Dr. Lynn McIntosh from Kansas City Chiropractic can provide you with the proper care to relieve pain and stress, improve your health, and get more out of life. And right now, get a free 30-minute massage with your initial visit. Just mention KC Sports when you make your appointment. For more information on Dr. McIntosh and Kansas City Chiropractic, call 816-753-4600 or visit kansascitychiropractic.com. Experience a touch of the Ozarks at Winterstone Golf Course in Independence and sign up now for Winterstone's major series tournaments and visit winterstonegolf.com for daily specials and great offers. For tee times, go to winterstonegolf.com or call 816-257-5755. People today use hundreds of sources to find local information online. Have you Googled yourself lately? Bad online comments can irreparably damage you and your business. For a free online strategy review, contact Market Leverage at 816-600-0564. That's 816-600-0564. Save $2 on any specialty plate at Loco's Grill and Cantina. And visit Loco's on Taco Tuesday, Karaoke Wednesday, Live Music Thursday, or Karaoke Saturday. Plan your next night out at Loco's, 240 Northeast Berry Road in Kansas City, Missouri. Call them at 816-468-2171. Whatever your sport, maximize your performance at Core Strategies Physical Therapy, Sports Performance, and Medical Fitness Center in Overland Park. The team at Core specializes in rehab and performance training for all ages and activity levels. To learn more about Core's sports-specific programs, visit coreptkc.com or call 913-322-4000. Welcome back to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness Show, the show that complements Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine. I am Steve Fish. Today we're here at Core Strategies Physical Therapy, Sports Performance, and Medical Fitness. The physical therapists at Core don't just treat symptoms, they treat the whole person. Treatment plans are customized specifically for each patient and their unique needs. At Core, they educate you about your issue, create and implement a program to help you, and empower you to prevent future occurrences. Core Strategies Physical Therapy is located at 10400 West 103rd Street, just on the east side of 69 Highway. For more information or to set up an appointment, and no doctor referral is needed to set up an appointment, call Core at 913-322-4000 or visit their website, coreptkc.com. Now, in our current issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness, check out the Heartland Soccer Report presented by Market Leverage. This month, we show you how Heartland Soccer boosts branding through youth soccer. And coming up, on July 14th, we'll be at Kansas City Chiropractic located at 4510 Bellevue, just west of the plaza. On July 25th, we'll be at the Kansas City Ice Center, which is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. And on August 5th, we'll be out at Eagles Landing Golf Course, located at 4200 Bong in Belton. And joining us once again on Good Sports is Daniil Debrek. She is one of the owners of Core Strategies Physical Therapy, Sports Performance, and Medical Fitness, where we are today. And Core Strategies is located... Uh, uh, just east of 69 Highway on 103rd Street. Daniil, once again, thank you for yeah. taking some time away from your patients and sitting yeah. down with us to talk about issues that lots of people, you know, have yeah. and, and informing them on the type of services that you yeah. offer here that can help them get back to the sport or whatever it is that they want to do. Exactly. So, so one of the things that you do, and we mentioned this in the first segment, is you uh, work with teams like the Hot Feet Track Club. Right. Um, you do offer services to teams. So if a team mom's out there watching this show or a, a coach or somebody yeah. like that, what kinds of services do you yeah. offer to these teams? Yeah. We, we offer a lot of uh, services that 
um, work with the athletes, but also with the coaches as well. So we've oh, done okay. helping coaches develop their dynamic warm up programs or their cool down programs or, um, you know, help help them with from an injury perspective setting their training schedule and those types of things um we also do injury prevention lectures for different different topics that are relevant to to various sports you know um and then from the athlete perspective we do individual stuff for the for those athletes whether it's um screening of the teams um those types of services so really can kind of customize to what people want our mission is just to make people move better and make sure. people healthy and uh, help them prevent injuries and, and, and that. So there's lots of different ways that we can do that. And, uh, you know, whether it's a large group setting or one-on-one, -on -one, there's a variety of ways that we can do that. That's great. That's a great yeah. service for yeah. somebody like myself who is a volunteer coach right. to be able to yeah. offer, you know, better options to the exactly. kids to keep them injury free and, and we encourage like people to give us a call they may not know what they need yet but we're happy to have that mm -hmm. dialogue and kind of figure out is there something that we might be able to do that helps you you know deliver a better service to those to those kids or the you know those athletes so sure. yeah sure. that's great just give us a call so uh, well give us that number it's 913-322-4000 <laughs> and email our website i mean is yes yeah, coreptkc.com yeah and you've got lots of answers to you know the yeah. services that you provide and things like that yeah, that are on your website, on website as well and yep. you've got a couple of our videos i think too yeah. on, the, on the website yep. as well yep. so so let's talk about the july um the july article which yeah. by the time this show airs it will be july and it's going to be super hot outside yes. at that point we had a lot of heat in june and it cooled off a little bit but uh you talk about hydration and hydration is like as i read this article i went oh my gosh yeah i guess 98 percent or whatever the percentages of yeah. our body is water and it is really important isn't yeah. it <laughs> yeah you know sometimes it does come down to the basics in in yeah. in function and in sport performance you're like oh i do need water <laughs> and i do need sleep and that is how my <laughs> tissues repair themselves and you know so yeah yeah, so, uh, you know, the obvious thing that you think of with that is muscles can cramp if they're not hydrated properly. Right. But there's other things that go on as well. I mean, we've heard about electrolytes. I don't know what an electrolyte is, yeah. but I know you need them. Yeah. What is it? <laughs> g it's, g give us the simple. Essentially, electrolytes are, are things like sodium and potassium, and they work at the muscle level. You know, they at the cell membrane level, there's an exchange of those that creates a contraction. So if your body's depleted on those, it can't essentially communicate to those muscles and get them functioning properly um, if the body's deficient of those electrolytes. So, sure. and that's an important part of, of hydration is just replenishing that. And, and the thing that I found interesting is, which of course it makes sense, dehydration thickens your blood and that can, yeah. that can mess with yeah. you too. Yeah. Does that just cause... Makes, it makes the body work harder essentially. Yeah. Because you've got to pump yeah. that, that thick stuff. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> As you put it, plain and simple, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, and, and obviously, you know, as we know, it can affect your muscle control. Your but but it's more than that. It's balance and movement, and your hips it, and your ankles and your, you know, exactly. all of those things. What are, what are the things you should look for right. if if you're you know again if you, you mentioned that athlete mentality in the first segment about pain. Right. It's gonna that's gonna go as well with right. well I'm not really dehydrated um, it's just hot and I'm just going to keep moving right. on. Right. Well there are f there are a variety of symptoms um, when people you know starting to show signs of dehydration so it could be you know kind of fatigue or they could feel dizzy mm -hmm. or they could um, you know have kind of mental fogginess um, they might feel nauseous you know there's a variety of different sure. things um, if they you know they might see a darkening of their urine there's lots of different things um, that can kind of of indicate those signs of, of dehydration. Um, you know, the, the biggest thing is, is to kind of remember that the more you, if you know you're going to be active, um, come July, we've got a track practice at five o'clock, start hydrating the whole day leading up to that so right. that you've kind of built that, that reserve up and then, and then hydrate throughout the, the event as well, just to make sure that you're not getting yourself in, into those, those predicaments. Because what the research has shown is that actually hip, knee, ankle control can, you know, can be depleted when the body's not functioning at its best due to dehydration. There's been some interesting sports performance studies done over the last, you know, five years that looked at specific populations 
ones and are seeing, gosh, they're actually more at risk for injury. Motor mm. control has mm. decreased, and the only variable was dehydration that they induced. So. Well, I noticed that at the time when I was more active, I played ice hockey and I was a goalie. And about 45 minutes into the game or the whatever it was we were doing, I noticed that it became harder to concentrate. Yeah, and, exactly. That and that was, yeah, it, 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 I thought it was me and my training and stuff like that, but it, but it's easier <laughs> well, to blame it, it on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, th- thanks. <laughs> no, <just laughs> no I, I know, I know. I'm just kidding. Uh, one of the things that I have noticed, and I, I've been out to high schools doing um, award presentations to high school athletes, yeah. and even though it's kind of gross, but, but it, in one of the the things that that the coaches will do is in the in the the boys bathrooms they'll put up a chart you know a color chart so that you know the kid can assess whether he yeah. is yeah. um you know dehydrated or not i think that's i, I think that's really good because it's simple you know right. it was real exactly. simple for those kids to exactly do that. and you know and it's you know it's sometimes on the on the track you know we can see kids that are starting to just look a little foggy a little <laughs> off you know a little a little a little slower and uh you know and and kind of pull them aside and 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 help them get a little bit of recovery but you know sometimes people are really good at hiding it they just get that you know that <laughs> mental toughness and they just kind of keep pushing through so it's good to educate athletes on yeah. on those warning signs and 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 just correlating it to their performance they realize it really does impact their performance and their overall health and and a little goes a long way just again that pre-hydrating and then some recovery after the activity makes a huge difference so so in the article you say to drink 16 or so ounces of uh, fluid before exercise uh, 48 ounces for every 20 minutes of exercise if you start the day before if you know that you've got a big event coming up if if you haven't done enough what can you do at that moment? Um, you know, y- you notice somebody that's a little foggy or, or right. that. What can you do? Well, uh, obviously, at that at that point, are you at, um, you know, help them get through this mode or? Yeah, or I mean, it kind of depends on, on the environment and, and those types of things, what the temperature is out. But, you know, like yeah. at our practices, we're, we're, we're constantly taking little breaks to have the kids go over and get yeah. a little a little bit of water and it it's a little goes a long way you don't want to you don't want to guzzle it you know it's right. not all all of your water intake at one at one interval but little little bits along the way just so that you can kind of prevent that that downhill slide once you get deprived <laughs> <laughs> for sure and uh the article says uh, w- well weigh yourself every pound that you lose consume about 16 ounces of fluid yeah i you mean know, you, you can't exactly necessarily yeah, do that but, but yeah but if people are wanting to you know if you're a if you're an athlete training for a half marathon and right. you're going to be out running the next several weeks and you're curious weigh yourself before weigh yourself after and yeah. that can give you you know a little bit it, you know, in in the length of your run, how much you know, how much weight did you lose, and that's that's water weight that you're that's fluctuating. So that can make sure that you're staying hydrated. Yeah. You know, you can you can help control that. And that, again, if you're training for a race, it's important to prevent injuries because there's a lot of repetition there. So yeah, for sure. So again, if someone wants to find out more about the services that are provided here at Core Strategies, yeah. um, how can they reach you? How can they find out more information? Yeah, they can just give us a call at nine one three three two two. 4,000. They can also reach me through my email at daniel, D-A-N-I-E-L-L-E, at coreptkc.com. That's pretty darn easy to do that. And you can also follow Daniil and uh, Jennifer uh, with and uh, Jenna Stones, who d- writes a lot of the yep, articles that are in the current issues of KC Sports. Every month they've got an article yep. that's that's in the issues, and you can check those out. And they're seasonal, generally tied to yeah. what's going on yeah. uh, during the season uh, so that people can properly take care of themselves exactly. in the sport that they're in. Yeah. Um, well, that will do it for today's show. I want to thank our host for today's show course strategies physical therapy sports performance and medical fitness and i want to thank daniel debrick for joining us today be sure to join me steve fish again next week at the same time for good sports the kansas city sports and fitness show and check out some of our other shows on youtube search for the good sports casey channel so until next week be sure to read all about sports health and exercise in kansas city sports and fitness magazine you'll find it online at caseysportspaper.com and all over kansas city and it's free so pick it up today 
To tape good sports at your business location, call 913-764-2050. Eagles Landing is the place to play golf in the Southland. For more details, visit eagleslandinggolfcourse.com. And for tee times, call 816-318-0004 and make the drive to see why Eagles Landing is the best golf value in KC. For 120 years, Ren Insurance Agency has covered Kansas and Missouri families with reliable, affordable protection. Auto, home, boat, life, flood, or renter's insurance. Ren Insurance has been covering local families since 1896. To learn how Ren Insurance can protect you and in the process help others in the community, visit their website, reninsurance.com. That's W-R-E-N-N insurance.com. Or call today at 816-398-4111. 